All right. Tracy in North Carolina, you're talking to Eric and V. How are you doing? I'm good. How about you guys? Doing good. well. Doing well. Uh, what did you want to talk about? Awesome. Well, first I wanted to say, I just start, uh, started seeing the Holy Kool-Aid videos and I love them. Right. I think they're great. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yep. He is. So I guess kind of almost on the back of um, Oriax, um, I've had some personal experiences uh, and share, I, not counting the ones that happened by myself, um, the shared experiences that I had. Mm -hmm. I'm having trouble, I guess, saying I don't know what happened when okay. instead of, you know, automatically assigning it to a ghost mm -hmm. or something supernatural. Yeah. And I'm struggling with that, especially since I am an atheist. Well... Um, I, I think the first thing is, um, it's okay to say that something happened that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, any specific religion has proved itself to you. It just means that there's an unexplained event. Um, and the other is how long ago was this? And was this a shared experience? Um, I had two separate shared experiences, uh, one with my mom when I was relatively young, um, just basically where uh something uh, articles of clothing had disappeared from one room and ended up in another room mm -hmm. uh over a long period of time where we searched both areas multiple times so that was kind of a weird thing <laughs> well, so <laughs> and i oh, can't explain it okay you know um uh, y y you never know um but I would say yeah. that, was it over the course of a day or two or five or ten? Um, it was over the same day. So, okay. you know, I I had put some clothes away in a drawer, and then I think we were going somewhere, and I had to change clothes, and I went to go get them, and they weren't there. Mm -hmm. And I went to my mom, and, of course, because I was young, I got the, if I go in there and don't, and I find <laughs> them, you're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, yeah. you know, the mom speech. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she went in there and looked and they weren't there. And she was like, I know they were there kind of thing. So we ended up looking all around the house two or three times. So it all happened in about half an hour, I guess. I, so um, I, I, I've got to yeah. tell you, I totally share that experience with my vape. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will lose it. It will be right in front of me. Um, people will help me look for it. We will search the place over, and then it'll be right where. And you're like, "What the? We, it, we just we just missed it." Um, but but even if we didn't, you know, the really scary thing is because we have evidence of people breaking into other people's houses. It's more likely someone broke into your house than it magicked its way over. Um, <laughs> and also, it's just drastically more likely that y'all missed it. And that happens. It happens to everybody. Shit, I think that happened to me yesterday. Um, I remember my mom would, would give, she'd be like, I'll give a quarter to whichever kid finds my coffee mug. Because <laughs> she'd drink coffee, she'd put it down, and she could not yep. find it. And yeah. so she's like sent, the, sent the, the horde out to go find her coffee mug. Nice. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah. Like I said, it's just one of those crazy things where, you know, we I put it in one place and we found it in a completely different place. Mm -hmm. And... We looked in that different place and the place that I that we thought it was two or three times, and then it was in another place, and that just and the, we were the only two in the house. So yeah. I, you know that kind of personal experience. The ones that I discount, or like you were talking about in another call with the hallucinations, those were the ones that were by myself that I can go, okay, well maybe it was a hallucination, or I can tie it to something else. Absolutely. So I, yeah. The, un, the I don't know is the is the hard part, especially when you've been indoctrinated with the Holy Ghost and God and spirits and mm -hmm. well, and, yeah. and, and, and not just that, but there's this cultural idea that you have to know that saying I don't yeah. know is somehow worse than being wrong, and I yeah I hate that mm -hmm. I hate that I, that's why I keep saying it is the most intellectually honest thing a person can do is to say I don't know because it is difficult to do that is very difficult to do that. Yeah. I, I, actually, exactly. I actually debated a guy who said, if you don't know, then you have lost the argument. And I am necessarily, I, I just, it follows that if you don't know, I'm right. Like he actually 
laid that out to me and, 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 and said that. And it just blew my mind because, I, I, I mean, I asked them, I said, really? If I don't know, then you are right? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't. So, yeah, no, keep saying I don't know. Please be a good example of I don't know. It's yeah. awesome. Also, it's very gotcha. easy to um, find things more likely because of what we're told about uh, reality in our culture, right? Like ghosts are everywhere. Not really. Yeah. Um, but the, the concept of ghosts is everywhere, right? They're in every, every TV station has, you know, ghost hunters, mythbusters, whatever. Um, exactly. And, and I try to watch those for what they are. Right, but but yeah, and I do too. I I, I love watching that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. it still follows that that is an option in your head now, right? Like you've in, you've right. allowed that into your head, and that's not a bad thing. It's just what happens when you live in this culture, um, and so that becomes an option when you're trying to come up with ideas, right? And there are exactly like back in. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say the old country. I don't fucking <laughs> live there. Uh, wow. In Ireland. Um, they have a, they have the concept of, you know, like the, 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 your good neighbors or your good friends, right? And you can't ever say their name because they're, they're fairies and they'll get mad if you know who they are. Um, but they, they do things for you, right? And you put out a, a, a bowl yep. of cream on the, on the doorstep and then, you know, your laundry's folded the next day. Or, you know, like they have these concepts that they believe are really real. Um, we wouldn't yep. use the, the good people as a, as a, as an example of why your clothes move from one room to the other, right? Because that's not in our cultural consciousness. Um, exactly. So a lot of where you're going with the, I don't want to say, I don't know, so maybe this, um, might be just understanding that you are impacted by the culture you live in. Mm-hmm. Yep, and raised Catholic, so. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. then that, that yep. follows, that tracks. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. Hopefully that helps. It does. It does. I appreciate you y'all's perspective on it. Absolutely. I want you to know that our call screener made a note on you and said oh. that you are an incredibly sweet person and that <laughs> we better talk to you. So you me you make a very good impact. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh well, Dylan, thank you. <laughs> he was very nice to me. That's Cheers. good. Take care, Tracy. Thank you. Bye. Of course, I have to embarrass him in the back. Oh, my goodness. I love uh, it. <laughs> so-